Right. With Rona de Silva. Last match. One loves. Michael Foster is the service judge now. He's the umpire. This is the first meeting between these two men, so we've no previous encounters to draw on for our anticipation or our predictions for this particular match. My only prediction is a long match. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that's uh, the style they have uh, should be should be a long match. Parupane just showing what I was talking about earlier about his wonderful retrieving ability. I thought yesterday for Wang Xiaoming when he was playing against Sonny Du Kunchura, I think I said on commentary that he looked fitter and sharper and quicker than I've probably ever seen him before. Yeah, and you've seen in the two deciding sets that he has played in the third set, he's been he's been good, been able to change it into a to a, a, a higher gear. Um, He's looking, he's looking fitter. Of course, but that comes to become a bit of balance. Three, one. But Cash, you've got this style of just taking points and kind of like an, an engine keeps running. Mm. So, uh, I just want well. He's Two, said that three. he modelled his game, Cash up on uh, former world number one or former world champion, Shun Sun Jun from China. With a world title in three, 99, four. I think, wasn't it, in Copenhagen? Did he did, did yeah. Oh, in in Brunby. That's right. Yeah. Can't be the worst player to model your game after. He was a fantastic Amazon player. Yeah. So quick and he used to be that you know, you worked for all the point and soon took the easy ones. <laughs> so uh can't remember the year, but I remember the year he played against Five, Peter Rasmussen in, in Glasgow. Ninety seven. Uh, yeah, where he had uh, two hours and ten minutes for the He had a cramp final. in his leg. Yeah. And he still battled. And he yeah. still took a lead in the first set, but he just couldn't manage that. That was because he was so amazing he, to take those he, you know, he was mm. so explosive. I played him actually at the World Junior before he came. The official World Junior. I was up four nil. And I got four and one. <laughs> so <laughs> he he finished my single career pretty quickly. So uh Six, three. Really good back, okay. Quick glimpse of the Chinese men's singles coach, Charles Ranger. Yet another world champion, former world champion. Observer, four, six. Being a little bit nervous start here, you know, some uncharacteristic mistakes from the two players. Great opportunity, though, isn't it, for, for both of them? Neither of them seeded here at the, the China Open. And one of them is obviously going to be in at least a semi final. And both of them will realize the importance of that Premier Super Series event. Yeah. Totally different tempo today. We saw Wang uh, Jimin yesterday. He was really, he had a really quick start and was very effective in his uh, from behind the court, you know, uh, from the back court um, with his sharp smashes and cuts and sticks. And today is a totally different game. So he must be a little bit aware of that Casio base. You know, he's ready to rally. He's ready mm. to to play a long game. So he's kind of like choosing the right moments today. Where he came out of the start just thing in Sunny Green. Serves over seven six. Neither of these men have ever won a title. Perhaps more added pressure. See the opportunity. 
Rachel, why not here? For very good reason he's not here. Busy getting married. Just one. And the Olympic champion, Lynn Brown, not here either. So every other player in World Badminton, because, you know, those two men I've just mentioned are so outstanding in, in world terms. Every other player in World Badminton will see this as a great opportunity to start yeah. winning titles. Yeah. And then, you know, go around here. Oh, right on gear. Yeah, I spoke about before, getting a win makes a huge difference for a badminton player, you know? Yeah. So this is a big chance. I see Li Chung Wei has been pretty uh, const constant on his wins. I think this is 27 Super Series he's won. 26, 27 Super Series. So, he doesn't have that many bad days. at himself as if to say yes come on yeah. I think it works in Kashyap's uh, favor when we have rallies like this mm. like are you surprised though about Wang Shiming and the fact that he's he's not so far employed the tactics that he did yesterday of using yeah. his pace well, she talked about it can be a little bit you know the chances there now you know he, there's some good players as out of the tournament and he sees the chance when it can have an effect on the players yeah. um, and then again, he had played two long matches. So, of course, fatigue is also setting in now. So, um, oh, that is delightful. What a shot. Terrific angle. And then I think they are very close to each other, these two players, you know. They are um, close to the same level. That means that that's also what we see when Lee Chung Wei and Lin Dan is playing each other. They, they can almost equal each other out. And therefore they will have a more of a patient approach to the game. Um, Just 
thinking during the mid-game interval there with both players talking to their coaches, Panela Gopichand, of course, the Indian coach, and Charles Wanzer, won the All England between them, the two of them, 2000 and 2001. I bet they were still, still both pretty good badminton players as well, aren't they? <laughs> they look very fit, both of them. to his game now, Interman controlling it where the beginning's been too slow, I think. And then by speed, we don't always mean the speed of shot, do we? It's speed of movement. Yeah. Just taking the shot a little bit higher and a little bit earlier. Let's see. Oh! Goodness oh. gracious, yeah. He knows it. It was going wide, I think. Suddenly decided to play it. <coughs> I remember earlier this year, this man, Kashyap, beating Chen Long in the Indonesia Premier Super Series event. Huge result for Kasia. to that rally as far as the Indian player is concerned. But the fact that he's beaten the likes of Chen Long, who of course is the number one seed here at this year's China Open, you know, that gives him confidence for though this is his first meeting against Wang Chenek, he knows he can beat the top Chinese players. Yeah. Angles. That's one of the things that, you know, I can see with him being more stronger, he can get up higher and take the shuttle early and then he had these he has these variations from the backcourt. Which is so difficult to play against. so well clipping the shuttle down setting himself up he is a tall man he's 183 what's that just under six foot
very clever play. 15, 17. We see so often the use of the body smashing doubles, and yet it's also very effective in singles as well. But it, it only becomes effective, I suppose, if you use the, the smashes and the attacking shots out wide first, yeah. so that your opponent is looking for the wide shot. Suddenly you play it into the body. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but but it's it's also a, it's also a way to get you know if you play against a singles player who's really good in defense on the sides you know yeah. they, they they tend to have a really low gravity and and stay really low so they can get and you almost have nothing out of hitting to the side because they can get so good angles yep. so then you you tend to just push it to the body to get them up again from you know from a low uh, gravity and then you open up the sides again. Um, so it's it's something you see much more in in, in singles. Oh, brilliant. Well, once again, just demonstrating your point. Wonderful, wonderful angle. This is the one that does the damage. Look, he slices across the shuttle, comes forward, addresses the shuttle early at the net and just guides it cross-court into that open space. If you saw Cassiope, he was really low in his gravity, standing low in his... And then when Tang Jimin can get those cuts in just in front of the court, then he has to kind of go for it, and, and Sang Jimin then knows he can't really do a long shot from there, and then he just moves forward. It's very effective. Good smash. So it's over. 17. Three game point opportunities for one Chiming. Fosto. Again, exactly the same. And once again, play to perfection. The former World Junior Champion, one game to the good, 21 17, and 18 minutes of play. No. Oh. Oh. We can't hear what's. Pelelo Gopikan is saying, but he was obviously saying something about the out wide shots. Yeah. I think he wants to, uh, at the same time, he wants to uh, kind of use the net a little bit more, maybe. Because um, is good at the net, so he needs to take advantage of that, maybe play back to the net so Wang Chimin doesn't have that chance to go back to the back call all the time and get those. The stick smashes in, as we call them in Denmark. <laughs> the stick smash in. Um, um. saying but it did look as if Penelope Gopacham was also saying something about the net shots there maybe a little more height so that it comes down closer to the net yeah. oh, 
just have to wait for the save. Second game. Double. See that trying to take the net straight away as soon as it played. I think he wants to. I think there's a little bit of drift on the side where Shang Tsung is standing now, so he wants to force Shang Tsung to lift uh, and control the wind of the drift, as it's called. Um, for a winner too early in the rally. I think Kashyap Parupali's normal style of play has to be patiently building the rally, waiting for the right opportunity. And it seemed to be panic setting in. She again tries to take the head, tries to take the net again, uh, but has been really successful. Um, I think it the minute it comes down to that, I mean, Shang Chimin has, has more weapons than Kashyu Pass. And, and if they just play the neutral game where they play around, it, eventually Shang Chimin will win it because he has more weapons. Um, so Kashyu has to kind of force it a little bit more than what he's doing, but in a patient way, uh, not on smashes like that. Sub-sober, two, three. Definitely not playing well at the front court, Kasha. Definitely not. Normally way better up there, so... How Maybe he's a little tense. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you correct that in the middle of a match, though? Because so many of the touch shots um, are all about confidence. Yes. You know, it, they are so good badminton players. It's all about, it's all up in, it's mental. It's all in the yeah. head, you know. And, and just kind of trust that you can do it, you know, and continue to do it, because it is... It is about right now for him to stick to what, what him and Gobi has been talking about. Um, uh, Gobi Chan, of course, uh, has yeah. been talking about uh, uh, in the tactic um, and then stick to that. Um, and then hope that, you know, things will turn around. That was interesting to Three, me, Pope. Instead of trying to play the tight spinning net shot, he just guided it across court yeah. from the net. Well, I think what they have been speaking about is a good get further up in the front court and play these shots. Um. Mm, it just seems to me to be trying to force the winner too early in the rally. Yeah, broke a string also, so. I'm gonna say he's also feeling it. He's also feeling that, you know, if he just plays that game he's been playing so far, Zhang Ming is better than that. Uh, so of course he's gonna he's been forced to do something and that sometimes gives a lot of mistakes because hitting out of position forcing it too much but he keeps going for that smash oh, well played no. Once again, taking it early at the net. What you think? I like that. Uh, I like that quick step that Shang Ming has to the front court after he's been hitting. And it was really, really quick at coming forward, as we saw in the first hit. Also, well, here coming up, being able to, you know, we saw him win two cross nets in the first set, and now we see him come up here and drive it. 
that's you know that's terrible to play against. You know, you, you, and that could be one of the things that Kasher was feeling. That's why he's, he's, he knows he has to play really close to the net. If not, yeah. he's been forced. So uh, um, it's a good good ability to have as a singles player to from the attacking from back court to be quick and to the front court uh, in in a kind of a tempo shift way. Almost hit the close eyes. That's impressive. <laughs> Again, so high on the net chunk to me. So high. The rally was in progress. I, I kept thinking, you know, he's he's not hurting Wang Shiming in any no, way within the rally here. He's just reacting to what he's doing. Yeah, but he's also playing extremely well, Wang yeah. Shiming. So, yeah. you know, some sometimes players have days where where they play that well, and you just have to accept it um, and then put a fight in. And you see, he's, he's he just knows that he has to play that tight because then mm. he's. Well, this Zhang Ziming is just going to control the, all the rallies. Um, one thing he could do maybe was, was a little bit what you spoke about before, and play it a little bit neutral into the court. So Zhang Ziming can't really do anything with it other than play it over. Um, oh, oh. that's magnificent game. Yeah. We saw that twice right at the end of the opening game. Very impressive performance. Yeah. Six point advantage at mid game interval here in the second game. Well, I would suggest that Bulala Gopichand needs to tell his man a complete change of tactics. It's quite frankly what's happening at the moment. He isn't really gaining him any advantage. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Yeah, but just one to is uh, it's about telling his player to keep keep playing in that way. Which sometimes what can happen is is that you play so well that you kind of fall asleep because <laughs> everything mm. comes so easy. And if then suddenly things start to turn around, you you're not you, it's difficult to change your gear. Um, so that's that's about being just as ready as you have been the whole match. That's the new to shot, that's better. Oh. Well, five. Thought about it, and I decided not to go over. Uh, just to be clear what you mean about this neutral shot, you're suggesting that he plays it sort of not close to the net, but not deep in court, so that it's much more difficult for his opponent to actually play a tight spinning net shot yeah. or whatever. Yeah, it, yeah. you, you, you kind of like aim a little bit for the for the service line, um, because the players are so well uh, today at spinning close to the net that you give them an opportunity to do something. And by playing it into the court as a neutral shot, you kind of like they can't play close to the net. They can only maybe play flat or play a lift. Um, or play a neutral shot back, but that's still better than 
what's happening right now for for Kashyup. So um, you see many many players do use that use that shot. You see Lindan is using it a lot because he will then eventually be so good in the front court that then when people then lift to him, he's so quick at coming back and doing smashes and cuts and sticks. So. Good one. See, again, then Sang Shimin can't get closer than that. Oh, Man, out of patience in the end. 13, 6. Yeah, I think the first player I really noticed playing the neutral shot, as you call it, is, is probably Morton Frost, your fellow Dane. Yeah. Reached the final of the All England eight consecutive years, winning four of them. <coughs> and a former colleague of mine in the commentary box here. Yeah, but Morton used that a lot, and he also liked to rally, so he didn't. He didn't really care if they then played it to yeah. the back, because that was it in his favour. He always pushed that long, and time is running Six. out for Kashyap Parupali. You can kind of see that, but non cash he has that feeling that today is not today. And yeah. Shang Tseming is kind of like a superman to him right now. Um, 15-6. Well, we thought he was playing well yesterday, didn't we? Against Sonny Dui Conchoro. Very, very solid again today. But he's been helped on his way by unforced errors like that from Kashya. That's a real pity because I know that the young Indian player, when he's on form, he's an absolute delight to watch. He's a very good Bampton player. And um, oh, he's landed in. He's but you also see everything is working for Shang yeah, <laughs> So, so yeah. you know, it's it's as frustrating as probably is for. For many of his fans, it's just as <laughs> frustrating for Kasu right now. He knows and he wants to show that he can do more than this, but Shang Ming today is just playing really, really well. And it's not like Kasu yeah. hasn't tried. He's tried everything in the book, but... a very good spin from Gashu. So that just tells you that he, he, Shang Ming also had that feeling in his body right now that can't yeah. do anything wrong here. So. Oh, perfect again. That slice shot. And on his second match point opportunity, the former world junior champion Wang Jiming really converts 21 17, 21 7. Yeah, well, it was very, very impressive from the mid game interval in that opening game when he was down, Wang Jiming. From there, he took control. of the score, 34 minutes, and Wang Jiming through to the semi-final. 